Hi, my name is James Ring. I'm the Chief Executive of the Limerick Civic Trust. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the project up in Mount St. Lawrence's, which involves the restoration of the church within the, uh, within the graveyard. So the idea came from a meeting with Limerick City Council and ACP and ourselves around the possible restoration of the building or partial restoration. So the idea behind it is that the building being such a prominent building and such an, inf an important building in Limerick's past that really it's sad to see it in the condition it's in. So the idea would be to start bringing it back to life and that would be done over a number of stages. So before obviously all this commenced we had a, a quite a large training program um, with ACP uh, for our staff and to upskill and, and to train them in proper conservation techniques from stonework to metalwork and, and anything in between, which has gone down very, very well. And I think the lads have got a real appreciation and understanding of, the, of the, the work that's needed and the care that's needed in dealing with such a building. The second stage will be the actual uh, restoration. And the rest, that program will begin with firstly removing and repairing the apse roof, which is currently uh, covered with sheet metal and is obviously very out of character with the building and we'll be replacing it with a slate roof. So that will be effectively 10 weeks of a program. After this, um, it's hoped that we might move on to a, a full scale restoration um, of the building. And we would hope that we could find a suitable end use. We're currently in discussions around that uh, because our belief is that to restore a building, you have to have an end use or it will revert back very quickly to the current state. It would be hugely important and hugely positively re uh, received in Limerick by the general public because I think Mount St. Lawrence's Church has such a place in the hearts of everyone and in the minds of everyone because of the nature of the church itself and also it's the graveyard which has up to 70, well more than 70,000 Limerick people buried in there. So I think every family has a, a connection to that graveyard. So from that point of view I would really like to see that this stage one is a complete success, which I'm sure it is, and that stage two is an even bigger one. Hi, my name is Martin English of Architectural Conservation Professionals. I'm just going to talk about uh, the workshops we ran in conjunction with uh, Limerick Civic Trust in preparation for our project in Mount St. Lawrence, Marcher Chapel. On day one, we looked at stone masonry and uh, the best practice of same. We introduced the uh, CE scheme workers to uh, the various elements of stone masonry from the types of stone that you can find, types of stone construction, types of stone you'll find in Limerick, and in particular the stone that is to be found in uh, the graveyard and the chapel itself. In the afternoon we had a, a workshop to deal with the actual repair, pointing and laying of stone. As part of this we introduced the workers into methods of uh, mixing the mortar. Following this, we went outside into the graveyard in St. Munchen's Church, and we picked the wall and we let the, the workers themselves uh, partake in what they had been, dis had been described to them in the, in the afternoon. The men were showed how to prepare a wall and how to point. Day two of uh, the workshops, we covered headstones and this is primarily to do with uh, the second part of our project, which is uh, the repair and maintenance of uh, a number of headstones identified by Limerick City and County Council within the graveyard itself. Frank McCormick uh, introduced the CE scheme workers to the headstones that you might find in the graveyard. We looked at the actual manufacturer of headstones and Frank described his own quarry and how he quarried the headstones, how he picked out the best stone to be used in the manufacture of the headstones, namely monumental uh, stone. We held a workshop on repair methods in which Frank demonstrated the various uh, techniques to be employed when repairing a headstone which has uh, been severely damaged or broken. Hi, my name is Nancy O'Neill and I'm one of the team members of Architecture Conservation Professionals. We undertook a couple of days of workshops and introductions into conservation for the works, the restoration works that would be done on Mount St. Lawrence. I did a two day seminar on timber roof repairs. Myself and Matty Collins from Colgan Constructions in June um, helped 
to create an awareness within the workers on timbers and timber roofs. The day starts off with there's an introduction to timber roofs, the components of a roof and then the different types of materials which would be used. From there we actually went on and showed them the defects which occur such as dry rot and wet rot. The workers went on and did joint work such as mortise and tenon joints and scarf joints which would be commonly used on fixing traditional roofs. We dealt with um, roofing apply applications such as slates on day two. I went through a brief description of where slates come from and especially where they're made in Ireland and where they're exported to. They got a, a, um, a description or a, a little insight of the different types of slates and how defects, natural defects happen in these slates and what not to use when applying slates to a building. And then they went on and actually put up a fake roof which Matty Collins supplied for the two day workshop. All the workers together work together as a team to apply all the slates to attach the battens onto the fake roof, apply the slates to them, and then actually do the lead flashing around the edges. Matty also introduced them on how to take slates out of existing roofs as they are in situ, and even cut slates back into place and attach them back in. Hi, my name is David Humphreys, I'm director of ACP. Uh, I'd like to say we're delighted to be involved with Limerick Civic Trust and Limerick City and County Councils in this very interesting project at the Mottry Chapel in Mount St. Lawrence Cemetery. We recently held a number of workshops, one of which was uh, held in association with Brendan St. John, who was a historic uh, traditional blacksmith, about the works in terms of uh, repairing uh, historic ironwork in graveyards. Um, historic ironwork is a significant part of our 19th century graveyards and quite a significant amount of uh, the burial sites in Mount St. Lawrence have got historic ironwork and some of that is quite unique and at the time would have been very innovative in its design and construction. It is under a lot of uh, stress due to lack of maintenance over many years and the plan is to start doing some repairs to the graves and hopefully to start incorporating uh, some historic ironwork repairs as well. The workshop was really an introduction to the repair of historic ironwork where we had a walk around uh, the graveyard in, in the morning looking at the various issues such as uh, rusting, the different types of iron such as cast iron, wrought iron and comparing that to modern mild steel. And then in the uh, latter part of the day, um, Brendan St. John and Richard Linstead set up a working forge and demonstrated the different traditional techniques of fire welding, punching holes, uh, joints, splitting iron and so on. So we look forward to continuing working with Limerick Civic Trust in Limerick City and County Councils on this, this project. Thank you.